The zero time table. In this short video, we'll share some tricks to help us memorize the zero time table and we'll make use of this box full of cubes to help us visualize them. The zero times table, as the name suggests, we do something zero times. So we might plan to go to the shop and get five items, eight items, but we're not really going to the shop. So it's zero times that we do it. So my plan is to put my hand in this box and get one item, but I'm going to do it zero times. So I'm not going to do it at all. For that reason, I'm not going to have any cubes in here. So the answer will be zero. Same thing again. I plan to put my hand in and get two cubes, but I'm not going to do it because this tells me that I do it zero times. So zero times two is zero again. Same thing here. I plan to take out of the box three cubes, but I'm not going to do it any time. So zero times I'll do it. And as you can see, I have zero cubes out. Same thing, zero times four is zero, zero times five is zero, zero times six is zero, zero times seven is zero, zero times eight is zero, zero times nine is zero, zero times 10 equals zero, zero times 11 equals zero, and zero times 12 equals zero. So I can get any number, 123 times zero, it's gonna give me zero and as you know I can do zero times 123 and that's going to give me zero again so the order does not matter so the zero times table is the easiest to remember and work out because any number you import any number you multiply by zero the answer will be zero perhaps the easy way to remember it is that you do need zero times so you're not going to the shop at all. Although you're planning to get maybe one item, two, three, a hundred items, what you're going to bring home is nothing if you don't get out of the house and go to the shop. So there isn't as much to remember in here or to practice as long as you use this trick or you recall that we're working at zero times. 